Hello everyone, I am Prajal Agarwal and today we are going to look at this problem snake eating. This problem is rated as easy on CodeShep and you require basics of sorting, binary search and prefix sums to solve this. So guys, if you haven't read the problem yet, go back and read it, try it out and then come back and see the solution. With this, let's begin. In this problem, Chef has a bunch of snakes. Basically, we are given n snake and their length L1, L2 till L of n. L of i basically is the length of ith snake. Now it is given that a snake num index i can eat snake index j only if length of i is less greater than equal to length of j. It is also given that a single snake can eat multiple snakes. When a snake i eats another snake j, then the length of i gets updated to l of i plus 1. Basically, the length increases by 1. Now, in the problem, we are given q queries. In each query, we are given an integer k. All the queries are independent. The answer to the query is the number of snakes that will be left whose at least length is k. For example, let us say that we have L1, L2 till L of n as the length of snakes and we are given some k. Then the answer to this query is the number of snakes that we can get such that the, all the snakes have length at least k. Basically, some of the snakes that are less than k can eat other snakes and can increase their length such that their length is equal to or greater than k. We have to output this maximum number such that length is at least k. The constraints given to us are we have test cases from 1 to 5. The number of snakes and the number of queries can be from 1 to 10 to the power 5. The length of snake can be from 1 to 10 to the power 9 and the value of k can be from 1 to 10 to the power 9. Moving on to the test cases. In the first test case, we are given length as 29, 21, 9, 5, 8 and 10. In the first query, we are given k is equal to 10. So k is equal to 10. So now we can select this snake as the length is greater than or equal to 10. We can also select this snake as the length is greater than or equal to 10. Now this second snake can eat the other two snakes we will update the length to 11 and then we can select this because it is greater than or equal to 10. These two snakes get eaten hence we do not consider them. So finally we will get 1, 2 and 3 snakes whose length is greater than or equal to 10. So the output is 3. Now in the second query we are given k as 15. So we are given lengths as 21, 9, 5, 8 and 10 and k is now 15. In this we can select this snake because it is already greater than or equal to 15. Now if we try that the snake with length 10 eat all the other snake then the maximum length it can get to is 13 which is not enough as our limit is 15. So it is optimal that the snake with length 21 eat all the other snake. Hence, the length gets updated to 25 and we select only one snake. All these snakes gets eaten. So in this case, our answer is just 1 as given in the output. So guys, try to do the same thing for the last test yourself. Moving on to the solution. In this problem, we are given n snakes of length L1, L2 till L of n. And we are given q queries where each query we are given an integer and we want to find the maximum number of snakes that will be left such that their length is at least k. Our goal is to find a solution for each query efficiently. Now there can be many solutions. I am going to explain one of them. So let's start by sorting this array because the order does not matter. Hence we do not care if we mix up these numbers. So we sort this and we get L1 less than equal to L2 less than equal to L3 up till L of n. We will try to come up with an efficient solution for each query. 
one of the observation is that suppose we are given a sequence l1 l2 and this sequence is sorted it is always optimal to choose all the snakes that have length greater than equal to k initially this is true because these snakes can then be directly chosen and if we decide to feed these snakes from the left snakes then it would not be optimal because by increasing their length we are not actually going to contribute anything more to our answer these snakes can be directly chosen hence for all i such that l of i is greater than or equal to k we append them into our answer now we will discuss the strategy of how snakes are eaten by other snakes so let us say we have a sequence l1 less than or equal to l2 less than or equal to l3 up till l of m so basically we started with n snakes now we remove all those snakes that have length greater than or equal to k so we are left with m snakes in this case we want to make some snake equal to the length k by eating the other snakes now the number of snakes required for lm to reach k is far less than the number of snakes required for l1 to reach k so it is always optimal that we first choose the largest snake and the largest snake should eat the smallest snake such that its length increases and as soon as this reaches k we will delete this number from our sequence and increment our answer by 1 this is true because let us say that the largest snake does not eat the smallest snake but eats anything in the middle so for example let us say we have five snakes l1 l3 l4 and l5 these are sorted in increasing order and we want to make the length of l5 equal to k to do this let us say that l5 does not eat l1 but eats l4 so now when l5 reaches k we already would have eaten l4 hence this would have been deleted so now the next snake that we look at is l3 but if we had not eaten l4 then there is a possibility that l4 would have reached k and it would have been more optimal because the number of snakes required for l4 to reach k is less than the number of snakes required for l3 to reach snake l3 needs to eat more snakes so because of this it is always optimal that the la the smallest snakes are eaten by the larger snakes moving on to the implementation the implementation for this code is a little bit tricky so guys pay a closer look to this first of all we are given l1 l2 till l of n now the first thing to do is just sort this array so we get a sequence l1 less than equal to l2 up till l of n let's call it array l now for each query we will do all these steps the first thing to do is we have to remove all the snakes whose length is greater than equal to k now for each query we are given a k so for the sequence l1 l2 till ln we have to remove all the numbers such that it is greater than equal to k for this we will use technique of binary search basically we will search for the point such that it is the first location such that the value is greater than equal to k for example let us say we have five snakes l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 and we are given the length as 1 2 2 4 and 6 and let us say k is given to us as 4 now we will use binary search in this array and will try to search for the number that is greater than equal to 4 for this first we will go to the mid element we know that this is sorted hence the numbers that are larger than this is present on the right since 2 is smaller than 4 we will update our low by our mid so now we will search in this sub segment finally we will arrive at this number since we know that 4 is greater than equal to 4 we will go towards left now we are in this sequence since 2 is less than 4 we know that the next index is going to be larger than greater than equal to 
so we know that this is the starting location such that all these values will be greater than equal to k hence we increment our answer by n minus whatever the index is of this number now let us look at how to calculate the number of snakes that can reach the length k by eating smaller snakes we will use the technique of binary search so we are given a sequence of l1 l2 till l of m so initially we had n snakes and now we have m because we removed some snakes whose length was greater than or equal to k now we will use binary search and check the middle value we will check whether is it possible that all the snakes in the suffix can reach the length k or not so if the answer is yes then we will try to extend this towards left so we will decrement our high to the mid so if the answer is yes then we will initialize high to mid and if the answer is no then we know that we cannot make all these snakes equal to length k so we will try to shrink this range so we have to update our low and we continue this until we have the optimal answer now we need to write a check function for this binary search so we need to check whether these suffix can be made equal to length k or not by eating the snakes that are left out so basically we need to check whether the number of snakes is greater than or equal to the summation of k minus l of i for the ith snake the number of snakes that the ith snake has to eat is k minus l of i hence we sum this in this range so i will range from mid to m now if this condition is yes then we will do perform this operation else we will go to this operation now we can actually simplify this condition further to reduce the complexity so we can open the brackets and write summation k minus summation l of i the first term is independent of i hence we can write this as k into m minus mid and this is equal to l of mid plus l of mid plus 1 up till l of m this should remind you of a famous technique called as prefix sums to get this value in order 1 we can actually create a prefix of l of i so initially we are given this array l1 to ln we will sort this and create the prefix sum Here p of i is basically the sum from l of 1 to l of i. Now to get this we will just subtract p of m minus p of m minus 1, mid minus 1. Basically in a prefix sum, a location at this point represents the sum from here till here. And suppose you want to get a sum in this range. So we will just take this sum and subtract this sum and we will get our answer we will use this technique to get this in order one moving on to the complexity first we will sort the array this is order of n log n now we create the prefix sum array this is order of n now for each query we will remove all the snakes whose length is greater than or equal to k as discussed above we do this using binary search so this is order of log of n and finally we will use the same technique to get the number of snakes that can reach length k by eating the smaller snakes this is order also order of log n in the worst case so the total complexity is order of n log n plus q log n because we have q queries the space complexity is order of n why because we need to store the initial array as well as the prefix array moving on to the code so first i have processed the input i have sorted the vector lens and created the prefix sum array 
Now for each query, I take this input k and I calculate the n index using binary search. Upper bound is an STL function that will binary search the first index of k. I calculate the index by subtracting the return pointer with the beginning pointer and add the value of n minus index to our answer. I use this function is feasible to basically tell us whether are there any snakes that can reach to k by eating the smaller snakes and finally print out the answer. Now let us move on to the is feasible function. In this function basically I am doing the binary search discussed before. I calculate the mid value and then calculate the required number of snakes for such that the suffix reaches k. If it is less than equal to mid, so the number of left snakes are equal to mid and if the required is less than equal to mid, then I update my answer as m minus mid plus 1 which is the suffix length and I update the upper bound else I will update the lower bound and finally I return the number of snakes that can reach k by eating the smaller snakes. So guys, this is pretty much the whole code. Try to code it yourself and if you face any issue, then come back and see it again. While implementing, do notice how are you implementing this function. I have used upper bound but you can implement your own binary search. Also take care about the indexes over here as well. So guys, I hope you understood the problem clearly. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the comment section. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from CodeChef. Thank you and goodbye.